Hey guys, it's MJ the Student Actuary and in this video I want to look at actuarial universities. Somebody asked me the other day which university in America that I would recommend that they go to. Now I don't know all the American universities, so what I said was here's a bunch of guidelines that you should follow when selecting which university that you want to study for. And you can use these guidelines in no matter what country you're in. So the first one is to make sure that your university has an actuarial department. And this might sound a little bit weird. You mean, don't, don't all universities have actuarial departments? Well, the sad thing is, not yet. There are still a lot of them that don't offer actuarial degrees. So you want to limit your choices to the universities that have actuarial departments. But once you've done that, there's another way to narrow them down. You want to choose the university that offers the most exemptions. Now, exemptions exempt you from writing the actuarial exams afterwards. So the more exemptions you can get done at university, the quicker you're going to qualify. And it can be a real pain to do all the subjects and then have to rewrite them once you've left university. So make sure that the university you're going to offers a lot of exemptions. And one way you can maybe find this out is to go to your local actuarial society or institute or faculty's website and see which universities are they recommending. Hopefully they'll have a little list and they'll say each university that has an actuarial department and the amount of exemptions that they offer. That's also very, very important. You also want to see what universities specialist subjects that they offer. Not all of them offer all of the specialist subjects. Fortunately for me, I went to Wits University and they had not only all the exemptions, but they also offered all the specialist subjects. A lot of universities might just offer specializing in life insurance, others might just offer specializing in general insurance. So if you want to go to life insurance, make sure that the university you're going to specializes in life insurance. But I would even recommend going to one that offers all of them because when you're in first year or before you even begin, you don't really know which one you want to specialize in. Finally, what you want to do is a quick due diligence on the university. See what people are saying about them on Reddit and other websites and just go and look at the lecturers. See, are they qualified actuaries? How many years experience do they have? What have they done? Have they published any papers? And then select the university you want to go to based on the lecturers. Because at the end of the day, these are going to be the people who are teaching you. So you want to get exposure to the best lecturers possible. But bear in mind, lecturers can switch positions. They can go to other universities. So make sure that the university you're going to has got lots and lots of good actuaries. So that if one does leave, you've still, you know, you're still in good hands. But yeah, there we go. At the end of the day, make sure that your university has an actuarial department, that they offer lots of exemptions, that they offer the, the right specialist subjects, and that they have good lecturers. And then what I'd invite you guys to do is once you find a good university in your country, please let us know in the comment section below. So just say, I'm from India and this is the best university, or this is the university I've chosen to go to, or I'm from America, this is the university um, which I found has been very, very good. And this way we can just help the other viewers who are still deciding you know, which university they should go to. They can see your comments and they can use that as a nice starting guide. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Cheers, guys.